Kevin Ford in control of the stick at this moment. Discovery now going subsonic, the fleet leading shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site with a pair of sonic booms. When Space Shuttle Discovery touched down at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California on September 11, 2009 to conclude mission STS-128, no one could have foreseen that it would be the last of 54 such landings at the famed Desert Air Base. NASA astronaut Rick C.J. Sturkow, who commanded STS-128, returned to NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center at Edwards recently to recap the mission for Dryden employees. So the crew comes on board, and you can see Gennady Padal. In his video illustrated presentation, Sturkow recalled highlights of the 13-day supply mission to the International Space Station, noting that the station is contributing to both scientific understanding and future solar system exploration. So it's good we're developing all these. I think one of the, the biggest benefits of the space station will be we'll look back and go, wow, if we hadn't flown ISS, we could have never accomplished uh, whatever it is we do next. I think that will be one of the biggest contributions, in addition to all the great science, other science that's going on up there. Fifteen of Discovery's 39 missions landed at Edwards, the remainder at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The retired space shuttle is now enshrined at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum's Udvar-Hazy Center near Washington, D.C.